This production is brought to you by Ancient Origins, reconstructing the story of humanity's past, and the YouTube channel, The Study of Antiquity and the Middle Ages. I'm bringing you another special episode, this episode being titled, 7.2 million year old pre-human fossil suggests mankind arose in Europe and not in Africa. This is a very controversial subject, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And so definitely at the end of this video, comment your thoughts in the thread below. A new analysis of two 7.2 million year old fossils belonging to a hominin species nicknamed El Greco from Mediterranean Europe suggests that mankind emerged in Europe and not in Africa. This new study could completely rewrite and reshape human history and possibly forever leave behind the out of Africa theory. And so, is the out of Africa theory in serious doubt? When an ancient toothy lower jaw was discovered back in 1944 in Greece, nobody really paid attention to the fossil as the casualties in Greece from the Second World War were so catastrophic that the extremely significant discovery was literally ignored by most anthropologists. When it comes to modern human origins, the out of Africa hypothesis has remained the dominant theory for decades. The theory suggests that every living human being is descended from a small group in Africa, who then dispersed into the wider world, displacing earlier forms such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. However, according to Sky News reports, the birthplace of modern human beings may have been in the eastern Mediterranean rather than Africa. As an international team of scientists studying the ancient fossils of a tooth and lower jawbone now suggest. In 2012, the ancient jawbone was joined by a fossilized premolar tooth uncovered in Asmaca, Bulgaria. Scientists suggest that the remains belong to an ape-like creature known as Gracopithecus freibergi which is now believed to be the oldest known pre-human, dating back as far as 7.2 million years. With the help of microcomputed tomography and 3D reconstructions of the roots and internal structure of the fossilized teeth, the researchers discovered distinctive features of contemporary humans and their early ancestors. Project Director Dr. Bohm and Dr. Spassov, along with their colleagues, examined both the Pyrgos fossil and the related upper premolar tooth. They came to the conclusion that El Greco is the oldest known potential hominin. Dr. Spassov stated that the fossil, this hominin, is several hundred thousand years older than the oldest potential pre-human from Africa. Anthropologists refer to El Greco as hominin or pre-human for now because the last common ancestor of modern humans and chimps retained both non-human primate and human characteristics. However, with the help of computer tomography, Bohm and her colleagues noticed that El Greco's features were evolving into more modern-like human forms. Dr. Bohm stated, while great apes typically have two or three separate and diverging roots, the roots of Graco-Pithecus converge and are partially fused, a feature that is characteristic of modern humans, early humans, and several pre-humans, including Ardipithecus and, and Australopithecus. Furthermore, one of the researchers... Dr. Begun from the University of Toronto believes that if we move Gracopithecus to our own line, then mankind's history could be rewritten. He told Science Alert, if this is indeed a human, it would be the oldest human ancestor known 
and the first to be identified outside of Africa. Ever since Darwin, conventional wisdom is that the last common ancestor of chimpanzees and humans lived in Africa. He went on to state that our research shows that the earliest humans may have actually evolved in Europe. Although, Dr. Bohm appears to be confident that El Greco's ancestors are Eurasian hominins such as Aranopithecus from Greece, she and her team are not ruling out the scenario that some of his descendants possibly migrated to Africa at some point. Of course, they consider it most possible that several of his descendants, as well as other early pre-humans, remained in the Mediterranean and spread throughout Europe and Asia. If this theory is true, then it's very possible that his descendants could have evolved into Neanderthals, Denisovans, and the other early humans known from these geographical areas that are directly related to people of European and Asian origins today. The only sure thing is that if more evidence confirms such theories in the future, human history as we know it would drastically change. As Dr. Spassif said, our new hypothesis is a smoking gun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study of antiquity and the Middle Ages. As always, I am your host, Nick Barksdale, and today I'm bringing you a very special episode that is brought to you by none other than Ancient Origins. Ancient Origins specializes in reconstructing the story of humanity's past. And honestly, for those of you who love anything ancient, mysterious, and the unexplained, it's the best resource online for you, providing a variety of content. But more importantly, it's helping us understand the subjects that we all love. From the fringe to the mainstream, you get the best of everything. But if you want access to even greater content, I highly suggest you becoming a premium member to Ancient Origins. And for those of you who may ask, okay, why? I have an answer for you. One, it is a treasure trove of information. It gives you even more access to the subjects that you love. From ebooks, webinars, expeditions, even more articles, but in some cases, you get to talk to the experts themselves. And by being a subscriber to Ancient Origins, you are continuing to help them make history matter. Ancient Origins literally has something for everyone. So, before we get to the presentation, check out the links in the video description below. I'm going to provide you with a variety of references to Ancient Origins from their Facebook page and other social media outlets to the very heart of the Ancient Origins website itself to help people like me and you better understand the subjects of history, mystery, and the unexplained that we all love.